Hi, my name is Chad DeFries with Thor Motor Coach. And I'm here today to talk about the Wind Sport uh, product line that we have to offer. It's a Class A motorhome. It's going to range anywhere from 29 feet to 35 feet in, in length. And uh, we have a wide variety of floor plans, anything from a bunkhouse model to a bath and a half model. Some models offer uh, washer and dryer prep. Um, a lot of things inside that really separate the, the wind sport in this price point. But on the outside, we have a fully molded fiberglass cap. It's going to be marine grade, so it's just going to be like something you're going to see in a boat. As well as our windshields. Our windshields are one piece. They're no longer split down the middle like you'd see in an older Class A. But the nice thing about our windshields is that they're actually automotive bonded into the windshield, okay? So no more H gaskets. So if you ever have that uh, buddy or that uh, you're out at the campsite and they say, yeah, every time I put down my leveling jacks, our, our corner of our windshield pops out. Well, that's not going to happen on this, on this particular unit. So this, this motorhome is powered by the Ford V10. It's a three valve, 360 to horsepower, 457 foot-pounds of torque. So even though this is 34 foot in length, it's definitely going to get you down the road, okay? So just, you know, some of the things that make the, the wind sport a little unique to me is, again, we have our heated and powered mirrors along with side vision cameras up in the, in the mirror, okay? So again, it's integrated into the, into the side mirror and it's not down here on the belt line. Again, 30% more visibility out of the camera being up in the mirrors as opposed to being down here on the belt line. The other thing that's really nice being down here, it's less likely it could be uh, knocked off, especially if you uh, are from Indiana like myself and traveling to chase the sunshine, you might be uh, riding on some roads that are salted and that salt from the road could start corroding the wires down here in the cameras. So being up here, it's going to last longer and again, more visibility. Again, you're going to see frameless windows on the wind sport. Uh, one of the things that we did is, is safety, and you, you're going to kind of hear that theme throughout this, this presentation is, is safety, you know. So we put the trucker window, or some people like to call it the doggy window, but what that's allowing the driver to do is see that, that curb on the right side. So when they're making those right-hand turns, they can make sure that they're clear, or more importantly, there's not a pedestrian in the crosswalk or heaven forbid, a grandchild standing here when you go to move the coach out of your parking spot. So very important to have that trucker window in a, in a motorhome this size. We, we again have the HD fiberglass. Uh, we call it our HD Max. It is uh, fully pigmented. Uh, so what that means is the color is throughout the fiberglass. So if you were to scratch it, you can buff it back out and it's going to come back to that shine because we have the uh, gel coat on the outside as well. So being that it's a poured fiberglass, you, you're going to notice that it's a very smooth fiberglass, okay? So we're trying to give you that full body paint look without a full body paint price. And again, we have all of our trims match the champagne color of the glass as well, okay? So one thing about construction uh, that we do a little bit different is we vacuum bond our floors, walls, and ceilings, okay? So it's going to be a very tight bond. Delamination is not going to happen. And, and the nice thing is, is that when we're vacuum bonding our walls, we also vacuum bond steel um, backers into the side walls, any place that we have a screw going through the outside or the inside of the exterior wall. Because we, everything else is aluminum, tubular aluminum inside. But what that's going to do is that steel is going to harden up um, and make sure that that screw really seats in there. And one of the first places you notice that is right when you walk into the coach, it is very solid, okay? Um, our cabinets are, are, are have the same philosophy. Uh, so we know you're gonna overload your cabinets, but at the same time, we wanna make sure that they don't sag um, and squeak going down the road. So the other thing that we're doing on construction is that we have fully aluminum wrapped openings um, in our windows, our doors, um, even up top on our AC units, uh, fantastic fans, skylights, or just even uh, an exhaust fan. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to replicate what you guys see in your houses, okay? So if you were to take your window out of your house, it, it's attached, uh, attached to a rough opening, okay? Same philosophy here. So we, we want to screw this to structure. It's just not a hole cut out in a press fit window, and it's just 
literally floating around in there and, and serves no structural strength. So that's one of the things that we do a little bit different uh, than most people. The other thing that we're doing is we're taking every chassis that we get um, to Moorride International, which is in Elkhart, Indiana. They are the n largest fabricator in the area, and they are stretching our chassis. They're balancing drive shafts when that happens, but they're also taking our, the chassis and giving us a square level foundation. So that's real important because we don't feel like we, we are very suited to be a, a uh, chassis upfit specialist like they are, we, we were specialized in the actual construction of the box itself. So we understand that that's one of our weaknesses and we actually sub that out. But at the end of the day, what we're doing is we're ensuring a strong foundation um, for you to enjoy this coach for many years down the road. So um, kind of look at it like an earthquake on wheels, if you will. You know, this is gonna take a lot of abuse, uh, unfortunately with our roads being as bumpy as they are. But at the end of the day, it's, it's gonna, give you many years of enjoyment to come. And the other thing that it's doing is we're, we're quieting the ride by doing this. We also have better weight distribution because we have steel beams going from wall to wall. Okay, so it's uh, one of those things that you can't see from Thor, but at the end of the day, it's, it's one of those things that separates us from, from the rest of the competition. So on the 34F, we have 111 cubic feet of storage. So one of the things that we changed for 2016 is a little bit different basement structure. Now it's enclosed. We have more storage on board than we did before. We have more pass-through storage. But the biggest thing that I think that happened in 16 that I think is a huge benefit is before you, you didn't have this pass-through from what I call north and south. We always had the pass-through from east and west, but, but this bay here was, was, was closed off. Well, that's since changed. So again, nice place to put the bigger lawn chairs, the foldable lawn chairs, even golf clubs, whatnot. So it, it's definitely much more user friendly. Again, we're gonna have the Rotocast storage. Okay, woven plastic. It's gonna have a drain plug in there. So it, there's no carpet, there's no wood um, frame for the storage boxes, there's no um, steel. So it's not gonna rust out on you or anything like that. You can literally take a, a a garden hose in there and wash it out if you'd like to. So this one again has the drain plug, insulated baggage doors, the wind sport's going to give you the nice side slam baggage doors as well. Okay. The other unique feature on the wind sport is our power awning. The power awning is one touch in, one touch out, and it does have a, a, a motion sensor on it. So if you were to accidentally leave your coach um, for the day and a big gust of wind comes, it's going to automatically track it for you. So that's kind of a nice benefit there. Um, it also has the LED lights in the tube. So there's a lot of nice things you, of this awning. I mean, this coach is 34 feet long and you got this beautiful 18 foot long awning to enjoy. Underneath the awning, we have our television. With the wind sport, you're going to get a HDMI switch box. So with that HDMI switch box, what's going to happen is, first of all, all the televisions are, are already ready for high definition. Our antennas on top of the roof are all high definition ready. So you're going to get this great picture, as you can see here. But what it's going to allow you to do is uh, that switch box is going to allow you to hook up your satellite. It's going to allow you to hook up your iPads or, or your DVD players and enjoy a movie or your favorite sporting event outside underneath the patio. Okay, so. The other thing we have is external speakers. The external speakers are going to be associated with a Bluetooth radio, which is located in the bedroom of this unit. And I'll get into that a little bit more. But again, a really nice feature to, you know, if you don't want to watch TV and, and, and listen to your favorite music and, and relax after a long day, you're able to do that as well. More storage. Again, again, it's pass, uh, pass through with uh, a drain plug, lighted storage bays. All of our storage bays are lighted um, on this unit as well as pretty much anything Thor Motor Coach. This is a mechanical bay. So one way you can tell a difference be on the wind sport is if it has a latch, it's storage. If it's gonna have a thumb latch, it's gonna be mechanical. So that's one quick way of noticing what's, um, what's what for you guys. Um, we have, here's our pump for our hydraulic jacks. So our hydraulic jacks are both down and up. That's a huge feature, especially in something like this. I call it the extended stays. 
So if you're at that campsite that, uh, let's say, is not concrete, but happens to be dirt, and, and you're there for a couple months, and it's rained, and the jacks kind of seat on you a little bit, you're not relying on a spring to bring the jacks back up. So it's full hydraulic. You're not having to climb underneath the coach and, and chip some things off, uh, the mud to get those back up. The other thing is these are going to be able to come back up. The other thing that we have here is our two house batteries. Um, but there is room on board to add additional two more batteries to the house, and I'll get into that in a minute, but we have a residential refrigerator on the inside, Autogen starting and uh, 1800 watt inverter. So if you want to maximize your, your run times between generator starts, that's a great way to put in the uh, added time for that, just to add two additional batteries. The other thing we did, it's a little small thing, but we've added a little D-ring here, okay? So it, most people travel with their pets, and as opposed to tying them off to an electric step or the door handle, now we've given you a nice convenient place to, to tie off the leashes at for your pets so they don't stray, stray on you down the road. The other thing that we've done on the 34F, um, we have a 29M model, we have a 31S, the 34F, and the 34J. Um, so we have four models that has an outside kitchen. And again, we are one of the only manufacturers in the Class A market to have an outside kitchen so I mentioned that inverter just got done talking about the batteries house batteries we have a little uh, what I call a little college dorm fridge here for for added beverage space um, we have an LP quick connect right here so that's going to be off the 80 pound LP tank that's standard on board and we supply you a grill so you can uh, it comes with a scissor stand very easy to use um, and, and, and let you enjoy the outside again when you're, when you're cooking and, and entertaining as well. We also have a sink and again more storage on board. So this is a standard feature. If you would like to, you could delete this feature and it would get you approximately 35 more cubic feet of space uh, for storage. But again, we already have 111 cubic feet of storage on board. So plenty of room on board for you and your family to, to enjoy. Our fresh water um, fill is right here. Um, basically, one thing that we do very um, across the board with the wind sport is our fresh water tank is above the belt line, okay? So I consider this is the steel floor that we have. So our, our fresh water tank is located inside the coach, which I think is an added feature as well. This would be like a nice little bay for the grill to store. Um, you know, again, everything's all finished off. You don't see any any moldings, any to cover up any gaps. It's very tight, very nice, nicely done. Again, we have on board, everything that we do is standard Onan generators, okay? So with the wind sport, we have the 29M and the 31S that is gonna be a 30 amp unit. So it would be an Onan 4000 generator. This is gonna be in the 34 footers, in the 35 footers, we go to the Onan 5500 generator. So that's gonna be a 50 amp service. The reason why we switch is because now we have two ACs on board. And uh, so we just need the power to, to make that happen with the ACs running if you're using your generator. So kind of a nice little feature there. Again, standard Onan generators. We're not asking you to spend the money and upgrade to Onan, okay? On the back side here, we have a molded fiberglass cap. It's gonna be a little bit hard to see here, but it's very nicely done. LED lights um, up high, so that way if you are towing a car, or um, you, you, the people behind you can see the brake lights from the coach itself. Nice backup lights. Everything is just very integrated, very, um, very tastefully done. Backup camera, okay, so like I mentioned, we have the side vision cameras on, our, on the side view mirrors. Again, just another added sense of security. You can watch your tow vehicle going down the road if you like, or if you don't have a tow vehicle, you could use it literally as a rear view mirror. So a lot of nice, nice things there. But I think the thing that really separates the, the, the rear end of this coach from a lot of our competition is the fact that we have an 8,000 pound uh, hitch on the back with a seven way plug. Um, we are the only manufacturer currently in the class A division gas to have an 8,000 pound hitch. So what that's going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to pull that 6,000 pound trailer um, or that you know, a small car. So we have a lot of flexibility back here. When your needs change, you're able to get that done. So I can't wait to show you the inside. Hopefully I answered some questions on the outside, but uh, let's go inside and see what we can do. So now we're getting to the inside of the Windsport 34F, and, and you're going to notice this with us is that we have a lot of 
storage in this coach. And one of the things that it starts immediately when you walk in the door. So we've maximized the storage even in our footwell. We have a nice pull out drawer here um, for quick things. We also have a lift up step here for a nice little toolbox. So if you have, you know, those wrenches, flashlights, whatever, it, it's it, it easily at an arm's reach right when you walk in the door. So some of the things that we've done for 16 that um, I think are really nice features is one of the things is our LED lights, okay? So we, we went to the LED puck lights. They are very evenly spaced throughout the coach. It's more like that residential feel when you're at home and that with the can lights, it gives a lot of light distribution and, and it really lights up the inside of your coach. The other thing that we've done for 16 is that we've taken and, and made this into an actual mattress up here. This is our 500 pound electric drop down bunk. It works off of a switch over here. All you gotta do is turn the key to on and hit lower. This will come down even further, but uh, with the chairs, you just got to move them back a little bit. But we've put a, a ladder um, hooks in here for you guys. But the nice thing about this is if you don't need this mattress in here for your guests, you know, if it's just the two of you more times than not, great place for a lockable storage. What I mean by that is your cash, your jewelry, your passports, important documents that you, uh, you take with you if, you if you have to travel, laptops, whatnot. But what you're going to be able to do as you can see how deep this is here, is you can push this back up to the ceiling and literally pull this, turn the key switch to off, and now you have lockable storage. So when you leave your coach for the day, you don't have to worry about your valuables being uh, disturbed while you're gone if, something, if somebody were to happen to break into your coach. So let's turn this to off and there you go. The other thing that we have on board, um, the remote is taken out because they, they tend to get stolen, but we have Rapid Camp on board. What this is going to be is a remote control for your slide out box. It's going to be a remote control to work your hydraulic jacks that we spoke about outside. It's also going to be able to a third spot to start your generator. It's also going to work your patio awning and your patio lights. So you're asking, well, why is that a big feature? Well, for example, in this coach, in the 34F, we have a full wall slide. So I'm sure you've all been to those tight camp spots and, and you have somebody on the outside of the coach watching the slide out box as you're actually hitting the button inside and they're pounding on the side of the coach if you get close to something. Well, we've eliminated that second person so you can camp by yourself if you want to, stand on the outside of your coach and actually watch the wall extend. We also, you know, same thing for your jacks. If you're in that funny, awkward, uh, unlevel pad, you want to make sure you, if you needed blocks, you can actually watch the jacks come down. So that's why we uh, decided to go with this route to try to make it as easy as possible for you guys to go camping. Um, so one of the other things that we've done on the inside is we no longer have carpet up here in the driver passenger cabin. We don't even have carpet on the dog housing, okay? So we, uh, we, we have one piece linoleum throughout this coach to begin with, and this is one of the spots that we were a little lax on when it came to carpet. And uh, we've since removed the carpet. It's gonna be much easier to clean. Don't have to worry about spills and, and, and whatnot. So uh, a nice little added feature for 16. The other thing that we've done is, you know, we now we have the swivel chairs, okay? The driver's chair will swivel as well. We also have a cool little conversation table in there. We left it out for demonstration purposes, but uh, uh, we, you don't want that in there going down the road, but when you set up camp and, and you want a, another place to entertain, then I think the 34F is a really nice floor plan to entertain with, and w once the camera flips around, we'll be able to see more of how, how big the living room is. But again, we're just trying to think of every space that we can to maximize um, functionality. One of the other things that we've, we do is we have a computer workstation. Okay, so you're going to see that we have 110, and then we also have a 12 volt over here on the side. It's nice and deep, so you can store maps or even your iPads or whatever as you're going down the road. So, and it's, and it's really sturdy, okay? So it's not plastic, it's, it doesn't have rails. Um, it is very sturdy. The other thing that we've done is we have a very nice uh, dash layout center console is what I call it. We have our cab lights, 
you know, which are your map lights. We have your generator start. So this is actually would be one of three places you could start your generator um, here in the coach. One, like I mentioned, with Rapid Camp. The second being here. The third being on the master control panel, which is uh, I'll explain to you a little bit later. And then we also have the driver and passenger fan. Um, the one thing that we've done is we've changed radios recently. We now have mirror technology in these radios. So what you can do is we've added an HDMI port that is going to be a way for you to hook up uh, most devices these days when it comes to tablets, when it comes to your cell phones, has an HDMI out on it already. You can hook the HDMI cord into here. You can pull up Google Maps or use Apple Maps, whatever, you would, whatever your preference is. And now those maps are going to show up here in the screen. So what else it's going to do is it's actually going to talk to you and give you turn-by-turn -turn navigation. So I, we, we think that's a really nice feature. We're not asking you to update your maps. Uh, the maps are always updating for free. And the really nice thing, too, is you can actually change your, your destination as you're going down the road. You don't have to, as opposed to a built-in navigation, if you, you'd have to put it in park to change your destination, where now you can do it on the fly. The other thing that this radio has is Bluetooth capable. The Bluetooth is not only for streaming audio, but it's also for hands-free calling. So again, we're trying to make things as easy as possible for you to enjoy your coach and be safe going down the road as well. Over here on the, on the driver's side, we, we, I think everything's laid out very nice. Again, it sits on the Ford F53 chassis. Again, the, the dashboard and steering wheel from Ford is very excellently laid out. But we've, on the driver's side, on the armrest there, we've added additional cup holders. So we have four, three cup holders up here for, for your convenience. And that's also where the pad for the automatic leveling jacks is going to be. Um, if you do not want to use the Rapid Camp remote, all you got to do is have the engine on, emergency brake depressed, hit power, and then hit auto level and sit still, and, and the coach will automatically level itself. And then we also have the heated and powered mirrors functions over there for you guys as well. So everything's very well located, very well um, in arm's reach. And again, we have the soft touch dash up, dash up here as well. So now we're getting back to the rest of the coach. And uh, there's a lot to talk about here. Okay, So the 34F is one of the is my favorite floor plan when it comes to family travels okay this booth dinette is ginormous absolutely huge um, it, it's approximately uh, 42 inches this way 49 inches from the wall and and I'm six foot four and I could fit three of my other buddies the same size around this very very comfortably this also will fold down pushes down you scoot the cushions in now you got a nice sleeping spot so again very usable, very multi-purpose. The other thing we added for 16 is a drawer here underneath the booth, okay? Because we don't have seat belts in rear-facing um, booths like this. We'll only have them in forward-facing. But again, you're going to notice a nice added storage. You don't have to no longer pull up the cushion, pull up the, the, the plywood base underneath there to get down to that empty hole. We've made it nice and easy for you here as well. One of the standard things that we have on the, on, the, on the wind sport is our solid surface countertops. Okay, So that's one of the themes you're going to see here with us is, is we do things standard. We don't make you do the options. Just like the op or some manufacturers have that, that overhead bunk that I showed you earlier as an option. We, we decided to make that standard Okay, so we can maximize, again, maximize the space. Um, but again, solid surface countertops, sink covers. Okay, so um, the wife and I just got done remodeling our house, and we put one of these fancy faucets in, which is a growing trend residential-wise, and we're just trying to make this feel as homey as possible um, for you as well. And it swivels as well, so it's, it's nice and out of the way. If you need this for prep space, you can bring it in when you need to fill those pots and pans as well. The other thing that we uh, have here on the wind sport is we have the decorative um, cabinet doors. Some have mirrors, some do not. We have the raised panel cabinetry. This happens to be our Sydney maple cabinetry. And you can see that we oil rub our, uh, our cabinets, so it's really going to define the grain a little bit better, and it's going to fill in those cracks and really give it a, a nice look. And we have a slight glaze to it as well. So a lot of nice features here in the kitchen. We have the, the backsplash. We have the three burner oven and uh, our stovetop with the oven. So we even have storage 
underneath it. So one of the things you're going to notice in the storage in all of our, our drawers is that we have metal ball bearing full glide extensions. We think that's a big deal. And you notice when I go to pull these out, there's a little clicking noise, which, you know, we don't want these cabinets coming out when you're making a turn going down the road. That's the last thing you need is some distraction in the back. We have a 30 inch residential microwave on board. So again, we're trying to make this feel like home. Residential refrigerator, 11 cubic feet. Um, you know, before we had a six cubic feet um, refrigerator and we actually have 58% more storage. But the really cool thing about this one is that we have an ice maker on board. So, you know, getting to your destination spot, no more having to worry about going out and buying ice. Uh, we have this nice convenient feature for you here as well. So the other really, you know, it's a subtle thing guys, but we have this latch right here. Okay, again, we don't want these doors opening up going down the road and that's what that's going to prevent. So, um, you know, we're, we try to think of everything, but uh, we're, we're constantly getting there. The other thing we have is the slide out pantry. Very easy to use, nice, nice place. As you can see, it's adjustable. So if you have them cereal boxes or you have those little jars of, of peanut butter and jelly, you can virtually adjust this any way to fit your needs, which is a pretty cool little deal, I think. So one of the things, you know, this, this coach is all opened up and all the lights are on, the slide boxes is out. But one of the things that you need to consider that we try very hard is when you're on your test drive, get up and try to walk around the coach. One of the things that we do is we try very hard to make sure that when, the, when this massive slide box is in, that you can get to your kitchen, that you can get to your bathroom, that you can get to your, to your bedroom. But a lot of floor plans from other manufacturers will have TVs mounted on a wall, and when the slide box is in, when you're going down the road with your family, they can no longer watch television. Well, we've kind of eliminated that. We call it our always in view televisions. And no matter where you're at in this coach set up or going down the road, you're going to be able to move this television so it's always in view for your guests if they're in the booth dinette, if the kids are coloring and whatnot and want to watch uh, their favorite cartoon, DVD, what, whatnot, or if you're sitting here on the couch going down the road, you're able to watch television. I think that's one thing that really separates Thor Motor Coach from the rest is the functionality of our coaches going down the road. And, and unfortunately, a lot of people overlook that at, at shows or on the lot because they, they're all opened up, they all look beautiful but you also have to think about those times as well. So we also have a lot of other storage down here. Um, it, it just keeps going and going. And you can see that we maximize every square inch of storage that we can on board. And I think that's, again, what separates us from the rest. We don't have any moldings up here. We, everything's a nice, tight fit finish. And again, the storage just keeps going over here. These are really deep storage boxes. You know, I mean, you can virtually fit whatever you need to up there. And again, they, they pass through east and west again, so you can stick those larger items up there if you need to. Again, we're going to have nightshades on here. Very easy to, to work. Okay. We also have this couch will actually fold out and, and be a, uh, a sleeper. It is with an air mattress. There are three seat belts here, so you're starting to see accommodations for sleeping. We have uh, seven seat belts on board and we can sleep six comfortably maybe seven depending on uh, the size of your guest maybe eight if you have small grandchildren because I guarantee you they're gonna fight to sleep up there in the overhead bunk okay so the other thing that the 34F is really unique with is we have washer dryer prep so there is a false wall in here the plumbing is already set up for you but if you don't want washer dryer prep, you have even more wardrobe closet space and adjustable shelf here as well. So the other model that would have a washer dryer prep in the wind sport is going to be the 35C. And then we have this really nice storage over here as well. So again, another wardrobe closet. Really nice, you know, pull out for your socks. So I, th I think you're starting to see what, what Thor Motor Coach and, and the Windsport have to offer. And then our bathroom, you know, it's, it, it's again, it's these little details, but we, our doors are full, okay? Our doors are full length, just like you'd see at home. Full piano hinged. And the reason we can get away with these full doors is because our, our AC is ducted as well as our furnace is ducted. 
So that allows us, we don't need to cut these doors short for ventilation purposes. We're actually maintaining the ventilation purposes because we have ducted AC as well as ducted heat. So a very nice sized bathroom. You're going to have a medicine um, cabinet up there above the sink, nice lights. We have storage underneath the sink. We even have um, some storage above the toilet. We are, you're going to see a glass shower door on the wind sport. And then as well as we also have a, an exhaust fan in the bathroom as well. And then even on the back of the door here, we have integrated a, a, a towel holder for you, um, for your bath towels. So earlier I mentioned our command center, our information center. Here is where it's located in the coach. So this coach being that it's a dual AC um, coach, we're going to have two thermostats on board. There's one for the works the living room, one's going to work for the bedroom. But back here, here's the third spot that I mentioned for our generator start. So again, very convenient. No matter where you're at in the coach, you can start your generator up, no problems. Then what, here's what I call the information center. You start, the first button here is LP. It's going to show you up here on the, on the LED lights how full or empty your, uh, your tank is. Same thing with batteries. We're plugged in right now, so our batteries levels are full. Then it's going to show our fresh water tank again, which is above the belt line, which is actually hidden underneath the bed here. But then you have your black tank and gray tank as well. You also have your ceiling light switch, your slide extension here. So if, if, if you're not using the remote control on the Rapid Camp, you can come back here and, and do this as well from here. Your water pump and then as well as your hot water heater. Our hot water heater are our Atwood hot water heaters. They are six gallons. They're both LP and 110. But the nice thing about Atwood, and you know, some people might say, well, it's only six gallons, it's not 10. We can do 20 gallons, or I'm sorry, six gallons every 20 minutes of recovery rate. So you're almost getting 18 gallons an hour out of a six gallon hot water heater, whereas a competition are using 10 um, gallon hot water heaters and don't have that much recovery. So it, it, that bigger is not always better, but uh, at the same time, it's very easy for you to, to tell the hot water heater what you'd like to do there. So here in the back, we have these nice bifold or uh, doors. I guess they'd be more pocket doors than bifold, but that's okay. So again, it's going to close you off in your master suite area um, so your guests are, are not bothering you or you're not bothering them. So again, back here in the back, you're going to see a lot of storage. Once again, we have a, we have a headboard. We have the decorated pillow shams and and, and bed spread. So this happens to be a king size bed. So that's the other thing that the Windsport has to offer is that the 29M is going to have a king size bed. The 34F, the 34J are all three going to have king size beds. Whereas the 31S and our bath and a half 35C are going to have king size beds. But even though it's just a bed, we have storage underneath here. Okay, so we have a ladder um, for the overhead bunk that I mentioned earlier. Uh, we have the, a grill stand in here. We also have the conversation table up front there. So a lot of, you know, a lot of cubby holes in this coach that you can hide a lot of things. Um, we also have a Denver mattress on board. So, you know, it is a name brand, and, and we don't want to chintz out on uh, a, a very uncomfortable night's sleep, so that's why we include the Denver mattress. You know, I talk about storage and cubby holes. Here's a prime example. It just looks like a TV, right? Well, here we are. We, we even have storage behind it. So again, this television is going to be hooked up to the HDMI switch box. So everything is high definition ready. Um, it's going to be very easy to use um, if back here in the back if you guys want to unwind from a long day. A nice little, um, we have a window here. Um, so that way we can do the, uh, you can get ready in the morning or whatnot. And then we also have USB charging stations right here again being that it's an inverter, this is going to be one of the areas that the inverter is going to work. Um, so that way you can charge your devices at night. And again, just a nice little simple light switch. But again, a lot of storage with the full ball, metal ball bearing, glide extensions, all the way throughout. One of the things that we did change for 16 was we used to have the TV in the middle. And by having the TV in the middle, we had two wardrobe closets over here, the television, then a third one over here. But by moving this, I don't know if we can see it real good here, but 
by doing this, we now have three, three closets, if you will, that are completely passed through. So we've actually, um, by offsetting the TV like that, we've definitely increased the amount of hanging clothes that you can have on board. So again, it's just, it's very well nicely done. Again, more storage um, for your dressers. Um, again, the, the Bluetooth radio is over here in the corner. I, uh, Jensen has an app, uh, that's the manufacturer of the radio, that you can put on your cell phone or tablet, and it's going to allow you to uh, change the channels, change the volume, um, even turn it on and off outside of your coach, so you don't have to come inside your, your coach. So it's a really neat little deal there. But one thing that, that really separates this coach apart from this price point is the fact that we have automatic generator start, okay? Auto gen start is what they call it. Um, and, and because of the, the refrigerator being residential, we are able now with the 1800 watt inverter, we're now, allow, or now allowing you to work all of your televisions. Your, mic, your uh, refrigerator is gonna work as well as the one outside. I mentioned the, the power uh, charging station back there is gonna work. But for one of the, I mean a major feature in this coach is the auto gen start and, and for this price point, you're not going to find it on anything else out there. So, again, a lot of nice, nice things in this Windsport and what we have to offer. I hope I've answered some questions for you on this Windsport 34F. Come see the guys at RV General Store in, in Newcastle. They have many other floor plans of the Windsport on, in stock. And if, uh, if I didn't answer any of your questions, they can definitely answer some of your questions for you. So hopefully this helped, and uh, see you at RV General Store.